Well, hello there. Father Michael Nasser here saying hello to all of our parishioners and everyone else. I've had a, uh, some time off and I'm coming back after some rest and recreation, time with the family, and looking forward to being back inside our beautiful church here. I'm actually outside because we are, as you know, closed down because of uh, quarantine, but thank God everyone that had uh, the infection with COVID is doing better and healing up and we didn't have any spread. So we were very excited to get back into the church uh, coming this coming weekend. So looking forward to being together, to worship, to learn together and to just be in each other's presence before God again inside the church. It's such a blessing. Uh, what I wanted to share with you today is some of the perspective I was able to get uh, by being away. Part of what I did when I was away uh, was I took a two-day bike trip. And I'm going to share some different things about the next couple weeks. It was just a good couple solid days with lots of time to uh, both think and also slow down some thinking and really just kind of gain a, a bigger perspective. And I want to share one thing with you today and that is just that our perspective is so shaped by what comes out of what you're looking at right now, which is this screen. Whether you look at your phone or your computer or whoever you're watching me on this video. Um, and there's so much we get through that, that it has molded our perspective of the world to a greater degree, I think, than we ever really understand. So for two days... I didn't see much screen because I saw mostly stuff like this. Beautiful trees, beautiful colors, changing of leaves, um, sunshine and clouds. Thankfully, no rain when I was on my bike ride. Uh, but it was just a time to regain perspective because I was in the real world as it really is. It doesn't mean that the things on, on the news aren't there. They're real. But they don't dominate the world like we think they do when we spend so much of our time getting our perspective of the world from the screen and what the screen brings to us and all of the news which is of course almost always bad and confusing and controversial because that gets us to watch even more by the way we're going to talk about a very important film on Netflix I'm not going to talk about today but uh, when you get a chance watch The Social Dilemma I'll talk about that in the next week or two because it talks about how we're up against this unfair battle where our screens and the people behind them and the computers behind them are drawing us in more and more. So you can watch the film whenever you want. We'll talk about it more later. But for now, when you look at this beautiful tree behind me, that gorgeous red and orange and the yellows and the greens, the beauty of God's creation, that's the most real thing. And look at that, the sun comes out, we'll be bring God's name into it. And we just, it's just, I didn't plan this. I didn't plan for the sun to start shining at this moment, but there it is. And the, the warmth I feel on my face at this moment reminds me of the warmth of God. That's the real world. And I get the politics and the pandemic and all the other stuff. Yeah, it's real and it's a part of it, but it does not dominate the world the way we have been led to believe by staring at these little screens or these big screens. So I wanna encourage you to do what I did. Get out and see the world as it is, especially the world of nature, which is God's handiwork. I mean, just take a look around. Now, if you're not in a part of the country that gets a beautiful fall like we do in Michigan, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but go find the beauty, because wherever you are, even in a big city, go find some place where nature still exists. Go to a park, go to a zoo, go somewhere where you are with what is real in this world and regain some real perspective. We're going to be tempted. We're always tempted, but in the next three, four, five weeks before and after this coming election, we're going to be tempted to a very skewed view of the world world that seems to be in turmoil well maybe part of it is or aspects that are true we've got to deal with them but then there's this <laughs> there is what you see all around us in the beauty of God's creation and until we take some time to just soak it in and see that that is just as real if not much more real 
then what these screens bring us, we're going to have a skewed view of the world. And God wants to see the world as it is. So that's lesson number one from my trip. Regaining perspective of how beautiful the world has always been, is now, and will always be, despite all the negatives and the difficulties. So get out, bundle up if, if you need to, because it's a little chilly uh, today in Michigan and wherever you might be. It might be chilly, it might be hot where you are. But get out and see the beauty that is surrounding us and regain that real perspective of life. God bless you. Those of you at St. Nicholas look forward to seeing you uh, back again this weekend for all kinds of wonderful worship and fun activities and, and time of learning and growing in Christ. God bless you. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.